What up? What up, gang? What up, guys? So, you're probably like, damn, why are you in a car? Like, who do you think you are, Sam Solik? So, long story short, I moved out of my nice thing. You're like, damn, production quality went to shit. You know, you had this nice little setup and the whole, like, Christmas tree and all that jazz, right? I know. God, it is so fucking hot in this car. Can the AC do something? So, I moved. And I'm still getting settled in this place. You know, I'll have my whole setup back to normal probably like next next week or something but for now we're doing a little car intro right you know we, it's all about versatility we got to be able to do it in the car in the in the room on a mountain you know any other place you can think of versatility today we're hitting back you're like oh my god you have the poster back there in like 49,000 years i know sick fucking gym right you go to a new place you're like oh i need a gym to work out because i don't have that one that was just in my apartment last time you know dopest coolest gym i i've ever been to in my life and that's saying something uh because i've been to a decent amount of gyms but this one is so sick you, i mean you guys will see the gym in this video coolest gym i have ever been to all the equipment you could ever ask for they got excuse me like Eddie Hall and all these like big ass names got pictures on the wall that are signed because they've been at this gym. It's a dope ass gym. So we're gonna go hit a crazy back day. I'm gonna be able to record it. Um, see what we're getting up to. Trying to achieve greatness, you know, do all those great things. Um, thank you to everyone who is here and watching this. If you're watching right now, I appreciate you. I truly do. And thanks for leaving a comment and leaving a like, and subscribing and doing all that good stuff. You know, a little bit of a transitional period in life right now to where like. A lot of shit is janky and junky and uh, I don't have setup set up and I'm trying to get all my gear and everything worked out. Not gear like lifting gear, but gear like uh, recording gear. Um, and so I appreciate you if you're here and you know what? We're going to get fucking jacked and I'm going to show you a dope ass back exercise today. I'm going to I'm gonna show you the proper way to hit your back if you want to have like a little Dorito. I don't, do I have a Dorito? I want to just have Ripley muscly back. Watch this video. Thank you for watching. Let's do this shit. All right, gang. It's your favorite time where I'm on the mic. You know, they say everybody in the club getting tipsy. But I say everybody in the club hitting fucking back because it's probably the most fun thing to hit in all, all the gym. This lap pull down. If you're not using this little mag grip type beat, woo, you are missing out. You are missing out on greatness. You're missing out. On the greatest middle back squeeze of all time. I think I'm doing like 160. Can't see the numbers on there. 160, 170. It's usually what I go around. Absolutely killer burn. I, I don't show a drop set on here, but do a drop set. Feels killer. T-bar row. Uh, I love this T-bar row, except for like it's made for people who are definitely under six foot. And I'm 6'2". Because if I put my feet up on those little like paddle things back there, I am like like my waist is on the is on the little pad thing so i gotta like hunch over a little bit but i still make sure that i feel the squeeze fully throwing around 225 not 225 which is not a 45 pound plate couple plates a 25 feels killer i'm telling you i get the craziest back pumps from this gym i don't know what it is but make sure you're going to failure use straps too if you don't have straps like you got to get on that dude it's like it's about fucking time because you use straps on this too this one, I know it looks a little janky, but I was feeling the squeeze. I was also figuring out this machine, figuring out how I can feel it the best. So you see me moving around my arms a little bit. But I did have it pretty heavy, and I was making sure squeeze. I only do a machine if I can truly feel a squeeze on it. If I can't feel a squeeze, then I'm, I'm just not going to do it. So I know this looks a little janky. Form could be a little weird, but I was feeling it in the right places. Pause. Um, so I was going through with it, and then obviously I drop set it. I don't think I drop set it on any of the ones I showed in the clips because I'm not trying to have like a 15,000 like an hour video of like, what's up guys? Here's 75 drop sets from my hour and a half lift. Um, might as well just live stream the lift at that point. Be like, all right, here's every set of everything I ever do. I'm just trying to make it short, sweet, but lovely and quality and the whole spiel grinding out here. And the wrist straps, as you go on, like your grip kind of gives out, but the wrist straps are there. So make sure you're tying those up perfectly.
Then I'm finishing off some shrugs. Shrugs are like a back day, shoulder day, whatever you want to throw it into. I do shrugs every once in a while because, I don't know, it, it makes my back feel like complete. Like me shrugging my traps and I've trapped back. Like I have a whole like full back pump. Um, I don't do them that often, but when I do, I make sure to use the wrist straps, obviously. So it's like my back pulling and not a bunch of grip shit, especially because my grip's probably shot at the end of these workouts anyways. Um, here's my back. Yeah, I kind of look fat as fuck, but we're working on it. We're cutting down and we're going to be shredded as fuck. So don't you worry about it. Word, word. Ratchet, but I feel like blah. Yo, what's up, Logan Paulers? What's up? So I look sweaty and gross right now because I do cardio at the end and then I look like I just... You know, did a half marathon, no training, and my face looks like tomato from fucking Veggie Tales, but it's chilling. Fire, fire back day. I know this is a ratchet, ratchet setup. There's not a lot going on, but this gym is insane, and there's so much more content and stuff that's going to happen once I get everything set up. I'm all moved in. The whole spiel, you know what I, you know what's going on. Good-ass equipment, good vibes. It makes you want to work harder, all that jazz, and so a lot more coming. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. You know, work a little harder today than you did yesterday, and you're going to feel proud of yourself. But uh, so much more coming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.